Okay, what's up guys? It's me, CMO Pops. This time we're gonna review the birds from the Lego Kusu or Lego Ideas thingy. So yeah, this is the ninth Lego Ideas set. Uh, ages are 12 and up. The set number is 21301. It has 580 pieces. And I'm also going to do a assembly stop motion video, so you can, yeah, maybe when the time I uploaded that, I will put the link in the description. So, come on, on the back over here, you can see that we have some uh, birds, real birds, and all the Lego birds over here, and yeah, I can see some of the world map thingy so you can see also the Lego ideas stuff over there so uh, yeah pretty nice box it's really thick and really high profile so yeah let's get into this box okay let's open this I guess I need to just cut the tabs over here just want to be really careful with the box over here because it looks like a good box to store other stuff camera down. It opens up. <laughs> Camera's not gonna focus. Okay, there we are. So, okay, this, there we go. That's a little bit more better. So, I see another brick separator there. That's my fourth one. So I got a bag, another bag, another bag, Another bag, another bag, and three very, 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 very thick instruction manuals. These are like, I don't know, these just kind of feel like the Lego architecture uh, booklets. So, as you can see, here's the first one. You can build that red bird. Second one, you build that blue bird. Third one, you build that green bird with a flower. Okay. And also you get a green plate. Okay, I'll sort the bags out and see you in a bit. Okay, so there you are. Two of these uh, number one bags. And we have two of these uh, number two bags right over here and then you have one number three bag and a big green plate so yeah I'll just go and take a stop-motion assembly video and I will be in a bit so yeah see you later so as you can see we get three birds in this set the first one is the uh, the Robin the second one is the blue jay, I think. Third one is the hummingbird. And over here we have all the Latin names. So that one is Irithacus Rubecula, and yeah, it has some really odd names. So yeah, let's just um, see all of these birds separately, starting with the red bird. Okay, so we got the robin over here. His tail is going up. So yeah, mainly on the front, it's built with red bricks. Over here and there, we have some light bluish gray pieces, and also on the back, it's all brown. So I'll just give you a 360 view. Two eyes and it has a beak. Also on the back, the tail moves because it's connected with these pins. And this whole thing just comes out. It has the axle over here. You can see that we have Technic uh, connector bars and it has some claws over here and it has some click hinges over here and there. Let's look at the uh, main main board over here so its latin name is Arathicus rubecula it has these special pieces with holes in it for this axle to go in 
and turn around like this. So yeah, this is a very nicely detailed set. So yeah, I'll just finally I'll just give you another 360 view. And there we go. Now let's go on to the Blue Jay over there. Okay, so here we have the Blue Jay over here. I'll just give you a 360 view. There we go. This also comes out like this. The base plate over here is built just same as the Robin, just the plate over here is a little bit different. Uh, the Latin name for this guy is Cyano Cyanoquita Cristata. I, I hope I pronounced that right. So yeah, it has two eyes, a beak over here. Now, the wings kind of move just a little bit. They're actually connected with really small ball joints. Also, the back tail, it doesn't move, yeah. And also it has some, uh, I don't know, should I call that feet? And yeah, that's basically all of it. So you can see that. We have its belly over here. It's uh, mainly white. It has these, uh, I don't know, like light blue colors over here and over there. You can see that we have some uh, light bluish gray and also some black. So I'll finally give you a 360 view. And let's move on to the hummingbird. Okay, so here is the hummingbird over here, and over here you can see that we have a flower. So, yeah, we have the hummingbird itself. I'm just gonna pull this out. Just like the other birds, you can pull this out just like this. Now, actually, the connected thing or compartment over here is actually a translucent beam connected to a clip piece over there. I'm just gonna put the hummingbird aside. Let's look at the main base plate over here. You can see the flower. And the stem has some, I don't know, weird, uh, uh, I don't know, like weird curved pieces and stuff. And the uh, 360 rows rotating connection part over here is actually a little bit different. It has a pin inside there. Because this is a little bit more thinner than the other axles. And the Latin name for the hummingbird is this uh, Calibri Thalassinus. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's go on to the hummingbird. It has a really long beak over here. It has some eyes on both sides. We have these uh, half-cutted 3x3 three three plates. These are, they're about like uh, six of them, and they're all connected to represent the wings. And as you can see here, we have that connecting compartment connected on the clip piece. And we have a lot of uh, details over here. We have all of these uh, one by one slopes all going around this uh, long bar. So, the head can go up and down, and this small thing can go also up and down a little bit. So, you just lift that up, and then you can connect this on here, and you can make a good pose, just like that. And you can also see that we have a lot of green, green colored pieces all around. See a little bit of dark green and you can see a little bit of black over here. A little bit of uh, purple. And it also has that really long beam piece. That just goes right there. So now we're looking at the instructions starting with the Robin over here. It is really 
high profile. It's really thick. It's just like the Lego architecture booklets. And see that we have this kind of wood design. Woody design. Open this up. We have the designer and some words that he said. Next we have some uh some writing about the bird, the robin. You can see description behavior, did you know? And the real picture. And these are all like these have a lot of uh languages. Lego always loves to do that. And from here it starts the instruction. So yeah, it has all those and on the back it has some other information about the Lego Ideas system. Playground for innovative Lego ideas and it has all the other stuff. Um, and also in other languages. So you can see all the three birds in the set and you can see where they come from. And you can see all of the some of the other Lego Ideas sets. And on the back it has some Lego.com slash product feedback. Now let's go on to the Blue Jay booklet. Okay, so here's the Blue Jay instructions. So, uh, this is just the same thing about the designer. Now it has information of the Blue Jay, all those description behavior, did you know, and the real picture. So, and then it has all over in all languages, and then it has the instruction manual. And one cool thing about the instruction manual over here. If my camera can focus. Okay, we have these uh, pine tree leaves over here. Um, let's see. Yeah, some very nice details. So, yeah, also on the back, it has some information about the Lego Idea system. And somewhere around here, there's the part list right there. And, uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. Now let's go on to the last manual or instruction booklet, the Hummingbird booklet. Okay, so here we have the Hummingbird booklet. You can see the Hummingbird on the front. Uh, same stuff going around here. You can see all of the info of the Hummingbird or the Green Volunteer. Vol Violeteer. We have the real picture of the bird, also all in all languages, and then we have the instruction manual. Now, one cool thing is it has a flower. Nice. So, and also on the back we have the uh, part list over here, some idea system information, and uh, so on the back you can see all three birdies. So yeah, I think this set is a really good set, so if you have a LEGO store near your house, go get this set. I bought this at $50 at the Rockefeller Center LEGO store, and uh, yeah, also the box is really good, it's all those, all like the kind of the architecture boxes. Uh, so yeah, I'll conclude the video right now, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Tweet!